What's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk all things money, how I spend it, how I save it, how I come up with my cycling budget, for this year. And we all know that cycling is pretty expensive and it takes a lot to do some just some basic things. So we're gonna talk about how I save for all my race fees, for my bike parts, my cycling kits. We're gonna talk about Tulsa Tough and how I break down my entire Tulsa Tough budget, how I came up with it, um, all the different costs, the hotels, the airline fees, uh, the bike bag. I have a bike bag that I'm considering. I'm gonna talk all about that. But first, I have to do a couple of things. I have to go outside and practice track standing, and I have to get in a workout because today is strength day. So let's get right to it. Let's go down. That's a good boy. Down. Boy. Boy. All right, there's a track bike. Let's get some track stand practice. All right, all right, let's get right into all things money. Before we do so, I do want to say that money is a very relative thing. $10 to me is not the same thing as $10 to you. It's not the same thing as $10 to somebody else, right? So let's just keep that in mind. It's kind of absurd to talk about it because it's so relative, but let's face it, we like talking about it. We like uh, knowing what's happening with everybody's money and in their business. So it's interesting to understand how people manage their money. Okay, I have a whole process, a whole thing. I am, I'm self-employed, I run a small business, so I don't have a fixed income. So, you know, there's a lot of variables here. I do wanna talk about um, something that is important to me, and it is that I'd like for you guys to subscribe. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I wanna get this up to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I would really appreciate it. Uh, so subscribe, uh, bell notifications, the whole thing, the like button. Please smash it if you like this video. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, Claudio underscore Fierro, I post all my workouts, everything that I do on a daily. I'm learning how to ollie, okay? And uh, I think I got it, it's been 30 days, but I post my progress on my Instagram stories, check that out. I'm also learning how to track stand, it's a whole thing, right? It's all happening on my Instagram story. So thank you for following along and let's get into this. So I have a system of accounts. The way that I do this is I have my main bank and I have a secondary bank. In my secondary bank, I have 25 different savings accounts because I'm neurotic and that's just the way that I am. And I'm gonna show you my eight bank accounts, savings accounts that are for like fun stuff like cycling and so forth. I also have the rest of them are like for my business and how, you know, I, I do all kinds of savings for taxes and all this kind of stuff and, and you know, expenses and things. Anyways, let's get into my personal stuff here for cycling. Boom. The first one here, cycling debit for 2022. That's my debit card just for cycling. Anything cycling related swiped on that, right? I buy race fees through that parts, anything through that. Why do I do that? It's to limit my spending because if I just use my personal card, I will, I will just, I will overspend. Here, I have a limited budget. I can't go over because then it'll just run out. It'll, it'll like decline me, right? Um, we're going to talk about that in a second. We're going to go here. My Tulsa savings account. This is for Tulsa. 
um, how much money I have in there to, to get me through Tulsa. Cycling 2023, the next one down here, I am saving up for next year. So this debit, this, this one here, cycling debit for 2022, I saved up last year, all 2021, I saved up. I know it's not that much right now because I already spent a whole bunch of it. I'll talk about it in a second. So right now I'm saving for 2023 a little bit every month, okay? And we're gonna talk about how I do that. YouTube income, that's how much YouTube is paying me. This is for this year so far. I've made $341 for the AdSense and YouTube's tax savings has gotta take 30% out of that. And obviously that's not 30%. Uh, there's more in there for some reason, but um, you gotta take the taxes out. Then I have this one here, it's for snowboarding. I became addicted to snowboarding. So now I'm saving for next season because I wanna go to Vermont. I wanna go to all these places and it's expensive. And I'd like to have like $1,500, maybe $2,000 in there. So I'm saving every month for that. I'll talk about that. Now we have here, new frame savings account. I put, I just opened that, put $400 in there. I'd like to have, you know, two grand in there and see what happens. At some point, I'm gonna want a new bike and I'm not gonna run up a credit card. I wanna pay it in cash, like a boss, right? iPhone, same thing. I have, uh, my iPhone is iPhone XS and it's starting to get real slow and weird. So it's like four years old, time for a new phone. I wanna roll up to the store with $1,200 and be like, bam, here it is, like a boss. I don't wanna do the whole payment plan. You know what I mean? So I already got $500 in there. I'm gonna contribute. And hopefully by September, October, I will have what I need to pay the phone in cash. That's the way that I roll. Let's go into cycling debit up for 2022. Let's see what I've been up to here. Okay, track fam, that's the Casena Velodrome, $25 a race every week. That's gonna add up. Uh, bike Raj, uh, $59, that was for Harlem Skyscraper. I'm doing the fixed, great, the fixed crit. Uh, PayPal, 196, what is this? That's bibs. I bought a new set of bibs and some socks, okay? Stuff is expensive, man. Track fam, track fam, more velodrome stuff. Oh, Burton, okay, so I, that's my, that's my snowboard. I, I, I shouldn't have used this debit card because it's not, it's, okay, my snowboard, it's so, I, I gotta show you guys, just wait, just wait. Look at this thing! Isn't it the cutest thing? In Look at this, I love it. I had to get it. It's still in the wrapper. Um, I was supposed to go, but I got sick at the end of the season, blah, blah, blah. It's just gonna sit there for a while. Um, anyways, I bought that, it's $600. And then I replenished it right away cause I was, uh, you know, that's, I'm not about to take that from cycling. And here, Casey DC, $192. Okay, I also, I bought a skateboard cause <laughs> I don't know, I, I got into it. I got into this stuff, guys. And I did not replenish that. And I gotta show you the skateboard. It's so cool. Anyways, there's the snowboard, $600. Then there's KCDC, $192. Venmo, um, $156. That's for the Airbnb for Tulsa that I Venmoed our friend who is running that whole Airbnb. And it's for four nights, I believe. And I'm sharing it with four people. So that's a great deal. Uh, some more race fees, $71, man. So these race fees, I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is for crits. Randall's Island, I did two crits uh, per day. So that comes out to $71, dang. $26 Amazon and here, $1,500 I put in there at the beginning of the year to kind of get it started. I, I transferred it from my other account, from my savings account. So I save up in that cycling savings and then I transfer it at the beginning of the year, I transfer it to my debit card. Anyways, that's the way that rolls. The key thing is that you gotta have a budget or you're gonna overspend, right? You're gonna go nuts. You're gonna go nuts with you. When you get paid, you, 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 you know, you feel like you have a bunch of money in your account, but you don't know how much really you have to spend. That's the idea here. I have X amount and once that runs out, you need to chill. Tulsa, let's look at the Tulsa. What's going on in here? So I contributed $75, $20, I, like about $100 a month, right? And, and we're gonna talk about Tulsa in a second. Cycling 2023, I have uh, 476. I'm already saving up for that. The contributions for that has been, have been a good amount, 168, $90, 126 already off to a good start. I wanna have, I think I wanna have like two grand in there for 2023. Uh, YouTube income, that's what YouTube pays me. And we have, uh, let's take a look here. This is AdSense for the ads. 
uh, April one sixty five dollars, and I, you see that that withdrawal for fifty five dollars that's taxes. I got to take taxes out because I got to pay them myself, right? So it's thirty percent. I just take it. I'm conservative about it. Thirty percent. Boom. Uh, one hundred and ten. I got paid in March, um, February. I made one hundred sixty nine dollars. So, anyways, that's that's pretty much what I've made this year so far. Snowboarding, like I said, I got addicted to it. And I gotta save up uh, another, I'd like to have like two grand in there come um, January of 2023. So I'm already saving. I'm making contributions, $100 here, 55, 168. Um, there it is, a $600 for the snowboard. So that's the idea, I'm making contributions. Let's look at my Tulsa spreadsheet, okay? Tulsa tough, Thursday through Monday. Tulsa registration, $100. We're gonna figure out just how much you know it costs. My flight is gonna be $650. It's gonna, it's just gonna be, it says it's 525, but then when you click on the return flight, you get all kinds of weird hours and then it costs more money to be like more realistic. It's gonna be like 650. Airbnb is 155. Cabs, I gotta take cabs in New York. It's, I'm, I'm estimating 150. Um, dollars also in Tulsa. I think it's going to be cheaper in Tulsa. I hope <clears throat> my bike bag. We're going to talk about this. This is like the most that I'm going to pay $660. Okay. That's a big amount of money. Um, if I do that once every 10 years, it's legit. It's fine. I'm going to show you guys what I'm thinking about airline bag fee, $30. That's if I get a good bag that is not oversized, right? <clears throat> Food, I don't know, two fifty. I'm thinking for Thursday through Monday, four days. I think, I think it'll work, two fifty. And then I, I budgeted one hundred fifty dollars for stuff. I don't know, maybe I want like a T-shirt or like some merch from some. I don't know. Anyways, so look at this, twenty one forty five to go to Tulsa. Now, if I if I take out um, instead of uh, instead of six sixty, I put zero. If you already have a bike bag, it's like fourteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. That's more manageable. So that's what it costs. It's, it's just, it, it costs money to, to go to these things. Let's talk about the bag, man. Look, this is, this is the bag that I have my eye on. Oru case B2, it's 600 bucks. What the hell, man? Who knows this bag? It's, it, I saw everything. It's really compact. It's got a bunch of features, the handles, then the pockets and the thing and the other thing and the wheels and you can put the backpack straps and it fits in an Uber in the back and, it, and it's got like, and it's so light and blah, blah, blah. Okay, they're gonna sell me on this thing. Plus they have this other thing that, um, the padding, bro, the padding. And if you buy it with the bike, they give you a deal on it. It's only $70. I kind of want the whole shebang but it's so much money. Am I gonna do that? Am I a traveler? Am I gonna become a traveler? This year I'm only traveling one time, but I'm thinking like, you know, I'm a cyclist. I'm serious. I'm not just gonna quit cycling. I'm gonna wanna do more of these things. So maybe I should just drop a bunch of money one time and get it done. What do you guys think? Uh, my friend has this case, okay? Uh, the Trico iron case. He says he would sell it to me for $100, okay? Now let's, let's talk about this thing. What is good about this? It's hard case, good. Uh, not good, it, it weighs 31 pounds. And my bike weighs 18 pounds. That's gonna put me at fit 49 pounds, okay? 49 pounds, I only have one pound left for the, until the airline charges me for over, overweight. And so I'm thinking uh, that's gonna stress me out. I mean, I could do things like remove the pedals and put it in my other luggage and do all kinds of things, <clears throat> but I'm kind of stressed out. Also, the dimensions are kind of like, you need a, an Uber XL to, to transport this thing, but it's $100. He's selling it for $100 and it's almost brand new. So what do I do? $100 or like almost $600. I mean, it's almost $700. Jeez. I kind of want to go, but I do have some money because I have in my account, I have the Tulsa account. I still haven't purchased my flight and I still haven't purchased my bike bag. So the flight is 660, let's say 650 plus the bag 660 if I want to go bling. So that's 1310. I only have $864, but I can, I have some, some money in my debit card here that I can also use. So it's, it, it can work out. Now, let's talk about um, bike fees. What am I signed up for and how much it costs? Harlem Skyscraper. This cost me 
$55. I'm using, I'm doing the fixed gear. And I do a lot of racing at TrackFam. This is the, the velodrome. And it's each race is $25. And I, and I plan on racing like 15 more times this year. How much does that come out to? 15 times 25 is 375 just for that. Plus, I probably want to do some other races. So I'm probably going to need another $500 in race fees for this year. So you can already see that this is... I'm going to need some kind of cash infusion in here throughout the year of a, of a couple hundred bucks, maybe, you know, three, four hundred dollars to stay on top of it. And if I want new, if something happens to my bike, I need parts, I need gear, uh, replacement, blah, blah, blah. I'm done buying kits and stuff. I'm good with that. But I, I really don't have uh, any room to be crashing out and, and replacing uh, huge things. So I got to stay on top of that. I could always, you know, make a cash infusion for my personal accounts from, you know, from my income. It's okay. But the idea is, is that this is, it, it, this is my budget right here. I have to learn to work with it, right? Because I, I am very prone to overspending. I love online shopping. I just love buying stuff on the internet. And it's, it's so, it's dangerous because it, 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 there's no end to it. It's just it's so easy to click on stuff and buy, right? So I got to do this. This is for me and my personality type and the way that I stay on top of things, okay? So guys, let me know what you think. What is your cycling budget? How do you figure it out? You just go with your personal card or you have something similar like this? Uh, my cycling debit card here, I'm, I, I'm hoping... I mean, $760, is that enough? It's, I think I'm good. I think honestly, I, if I chill and I do local stuff and this is, Tulsa is my only out of town bike race, I think I am good. And that's my, that's my cycling budget. That's how I do it. Next year, I wanna have another Tulsa-like event. Maybe I like Tulsa and I wanna go back. So I need another two Gs in there just for Tulsa. And I'm gonna learn exactly how much it's gonna cost. So I'm gonna have that plus uh, a bunch of local races and maybe a new frame, I don't know. So so I'm thinking about that right now in 2022, where I want to be financially for my bike and cycling adventures. Um, and I'm starting to plan. I'm putting money away every month, every two weeks. Boom, boom, boom. And that is the video for my cycling budget of 2022. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you have something similar? How are you uh, budgeting for this expensive hobby? You know, it takes money. Even if you don't want to spend it, you always end up spending money. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you guys think about that case, the bike case. Would you spend that much money on it? What would you do? Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.